Hi everybody, today we are going to make a small boat for bait delivery. We will need a 24V35A motor, a cooling jacket for it, a stern tube, a screw propeller, and a transmission. The motor needs a regulator and two servos. One is for rotation and the other is for bait unloading. We need an 11.1 volt battery. I have a 2200 MA one, but you can use two of the 11.1 volt batteries to increase the power. I'll give you the links for all the products I used in the video description below. We need a metal wire, such as a spinner bait. You can buy one at any local fishing store. Use styrofoam to make the ship's hull. We will use two component glue for the key points as they need a stronger bond, and the rest will be glued with a polymer adhesive. The boat is going to be quite large. The width is 9.65 inches. Here, it's 12.60 inches. And the bow is 6.30 inches across. We now need to cut it. We need at least three styrofoam walls of 9.65 to 3.15 inches size. Leave 0.5 an inch at the bottom and cut towards the center. This is what it will look like. I added some reinforcing ribs here for a stronger structure. Make two holes for the stern tube. One must be this long, and the other is just a small circular hole. Insert the tube here and fix it with the two component glue. Take a plastic corner bracket and attach it to the motor. This is glued to the hull. The motor will be placed here, and this part is placed underneath. First, we need to apply the glue, and then insert it. Don't forget about cooling. We need to adjust two tubes to the cooler exits on the motor cooling outlets. The cooling tubes will be set this way, so the water will come out here. Here, we have the section that is cut like this. When the boat is floating, the pressure will push water upwards through the jacket here, and then it will leave through the side. We then fix the plastic corners to the front for the battery and electronics, and to the back for the servo. Let's make the rotation system. First, insert two wires and bend them. Take another piece of wire and insert it through the holes. Then, bend it. Make a small ring here and bend the wire. Then, attach the plastic with the glue gun to form a rudder. Take a piece of thin steel wire, push it through the hole, and attach it to the servo and the rotation system with the two ring. Now, let's set the servo for bait unloading. I reinforced the rear part and screwed this into place. This box is for the bait and measured 7 inches by 5 inches. We need extensions for the servos. The links for them and all other equipment are in the video description below. Attach all the electronics to the bow part with the two-sided tape. Bend the copper wire into a ring at the ends and fasten it firmly to the servo arm with a screw. I also soldered this on top. We need a moving system with a small screw here. Glue it into place. We also need a moving part here. It should look like this. It should be fixed, but not so tightly that it can't move. Connect the arms to the servo, then connect electronic parts to the radio equipment. This first wire is connected to the server, and it controls rotation. Insert it into the first radio channel. Take the regulator wires and insert them into the second channel. 
Take the bait unloading servo tail and insert it into the third channel. Connect the power. Now for the lights. Turn on the switch. The servos are in their regular positions. Now we can turn it on and check how it's working. Using the remote, you can check the rotation. It's fine. And now, let's check the bait unloading. The regulator is in control. Check the speed. Okay. Now the machinery is set up. I just need to put on a cover and make a hole in it so I can get inside if necessary. And there's our finished boat. Let's go to the river and test it. I also inserted a red LED light into the ship's nose. It's connected through the fourth channel and the third wire is not being used. I took a plastic pen, put glue on it and inserted the antenna into it. The LED light is working. So, the stated equipment range is almost a thousand feet away. I checked it at 500 feet away. It worked perfectly in the open. If you have any questions, post them as comments to this video. Please also make your suggestions for the ship's name. I'll put the best name on the boat here and show it to you in the next video. Hit like if you enjoyed watching the video and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more tutorials in the future. See you again.